Hey everyone, Rob here from Gunfather Milsim. Today I'm bringing you a review of the One Tigress Tactical Chess Rig. Now, full disclosure, uh, One Tigress is an airsoft company and a camping gear company. They're not really a real steel uh, equipment company. Uh, they focus on airsoft. Previous to this, the main experience I had with them was I purchased one of their uh, mesh face masks with the cloth on the side. It's a really good product and uh, I, I still use it damn near every time I play. So, Apparently my channel's reached a level where these some of these uh, smaller discount airsoft retailers are reaching out to me and asking me, "Hey, would would you, you know, do a do a review of our gear?" I've had two other companies reach out to me, and both of them basically said, "If you give us a positive review, we'll give you free gear." And to both of them, I said, "Go pound sand. Um, I if if it's crap, I'm gonna say it's crap." So and, and I, I have a job. I can buy my own gear. I especially buy cheap gear. So I, I don't I don't need your free stuff. Um, I prefer my integrity. So one Tigress reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to review some of our gear? I said, yeah, but you know, it's going to be fair, a fair review based on the price point, And I'm going to tell the truth and I'll let you know if there's anything I think you need to improve. And they said, sure, sounds great. No problem. All right, cool. So they sent me this. So let's get the basics out of the way. This is a micro chest rig. You can buy it on Amazon for $60. That's pretty much the best place to buy it. I'll put a link below in the description to that. Uh, this is multicam, and it's the trademark multicam. It's not some knockoff multicam. Also comes in tan, green, black, all the all the all the cool tactical colors. This one um, I put next to some other multicam gear I have. That's actual multicam, and it matches. Sometimes you buy discount multicam, and you get the knockoff multicam, and it just doesn't match. It looks like crap. This one looks great. So plus for one tigress. The stitching in general is good. It is not great. It is reinforced every place I would expect it to be reinforced. There are some spots that's single stitched where I would prefer it be double stitched, but it's it's an airsoft level piece of equipment that costs sixty dollars, so you got to be somewhat reasonable. There's a couple spots where there was some loose thread, but it, it wasn't thread that had come out. It was just when, during the manufacturing process they didn't cut it off when they were done sewing. Not a big deal. Uh, it's got box stitching where it should. That's just to reinforce anything that would get pulled on. It's it's pretty standard, but it's a good thing to see because it, uh, it just makes for a good solid product. There are four main magazine pouches here. Okay, and these magazine pouches are, they're made for M4 pouches. I found they're a little bit large, and at first I was kind of like, hmm, that's kind of an annoyance. But the more I started messing around with the chest rig, the more I kind of liked it because it does two things for us. One, you can put regular AK-47 mags in here, like the 762 by 39 clones, not the AK-74s. So you can put the curved AK mags in here, load up four of them, it'll fit just fine. You can use M4 mags. Also, because of a little bit of flex, if you were to do an AR-10 mag, you can actually put one AR-10 mag in each side here. Won't hold any in the middle though. So that's good. Um, also, the fact that the pocket is a little bit larger makes it very easy to pull these out and reload them. I've had other chest rigs where the pouches are almost too tight and it, it can be difficult to load and unload them in a hurry. So that's good. Um, we have this admin pouch here, which kind of has this uh, little bit of fabric here that holds it from totally flopping open. If it totally flops open, all the crap inside falls out. That's an annoyance. So that, that's a good afterthought. Inside here is just your standard uh, admin pouch flare, you know, just pouches and crap and storage for stuff. Um, in front of this admin pouch, there's a little bit of PALS webbing. I don't think that's for a pouch. I think that's just for putting uh, pens or light sticks or glow sticks, whatever the hell you want to put in there. A little bit of Velcro. I would prefer a slightly larger piece of Velcro, but this is fine. Pistol pouches. It's got two pistol pouches on each side. Um, now, this is a personal preference. This isn't really a critique as much as my personal preference because I've had other chess rigs that have the same setup. I don't like that many pistol mag pouches. How many pistol mags are you honestly going to carry? Once you carry your multi-tool and your pistol mag, maybe a little flashlight, what else are you going to put in there? I would prefer these just be larger utility pouches that you can put like an airsoft grenade in or a pair of gloves or, or whatever. Something that you can actually use that space for. I just don't need that many pistol pouches. But it's fine. That's just a personal preference, uh, not so much a, a genuine critique. And each of these pouches has, once again, a little bit of Velcro on it if you want to put more patches and crap on there because airsoft players just love patches. There's also PALS webbing on each of the shoulder straps. 
I like that, not so much for putting pouches, but also so you can run, I usually run like a hand mic up here for my communications, and you can run the wiring for that underneath this PALS webbing so it doesn't get caught on stuff. I like that, it's a nice, nice touch. Uh, each shoulder has a little plastic D-ring on it. Uh, that's, for me, I would hook a mic, for microphone in there, I'd probably still throw a zip tie in there just to make sure it didn't come loose. Also, nice touch. We have YKK zippers throughout, which anymore is pretty much uh, standard, so that's nice. It's got what one Tigress calls their UTX buckles. These are just standard one inch buckles. Uh, nice thing about these is they will work with any Swift clips. So anything you have from Haley Strategic or Velocity Systems, any of those Swift clips of systems will integrate with this chest rig. So that's nice. Um, a little closer look at some of the features. On the back here, there's this large kind of plastic grid panel, which is supposed to give you some airflow in there. Um, I'm assuming it, it's, it works to some degree. It's not that hot out right now, so I didn't really get a good test of that. If you remove this panel, you have Velcro here. Okay, so this is what you're going to use if you're going to attach this to like a plate carrier that has a swift clip system. Um, looks good. It's, it's well attached. It's well sewn in. I like what I see here. The pull tabs that they have here for your magazines are, uh, are really well done. It's just, it's just bungees, but you know, they have this little uh, barrel cordage lock here and it's really easy to lengthen these or shorten them on the fly, which I kind of like. Uh, I found it's real handy with this with this extra here. You just lay this down on this Velcro, throw this plate back on there, and that keeps that all tucked away and out of the way and keeps you uh, from getting snagged on stuff, so that's good. Also with this Velcro right here, you can throw on a dangler pouch if you want to. I had one sitting around that I threw on there just to check it out. Uh, highly recommend dangler pouches, uh, big fan. If there is one critique I do have, maybe not so much a critique as a concern, is uh, the dividers between the four magazine pouches, so there's three dividers, is just a single uh, piece of 500 D cordura in there that is sewn in as a divider. And there's a little bit of give, that's why I can use different, different types of magazines in here. Um, my only concern is I think for such a, a high use area with loading and unloading magazines, this should probably be reinforced a little more. Um, it's just a minor concern, but if you compare it to, let's say, the Helicon uh, training chest rig that I did a video on, um, the, on the Helicon, it's a lot more reinforced. There's a ton of fabric and a lot of stitching. On uh, this one, there's a very minimal amount of stitching, and it is a concern that that might be a failure point in the future. As far as the fit and the, the comfort goes, I, I find it to be a very comfortable chest rig, very nice fit. Um, in the back, the uh, shoulder straps cross versus having the uh, more common H set up. Um, I prefer that, but I'm not that big a guy. I find it very comfortable. If you're a bigger, larger person, this might not be the chest rig for you. As I stated before, the actual magazine pouch is a little bit wider than it needs to be, which at first was a concern, but the more I started messing around with it, the more I kind of like it. It makes it very easy to unload and load magazines quickly. Uh, the pull tabs have a lot of adjustment. It's all very nice. Um, also, on the point of adjustability, it's kind of a nice feature I wasn't expecting. The straps are sewn in. Usually you're going to have a loose strap out here and that's how you adjust it. you got to worry about cutting off the strap or taping it down or whatever. But um, with this design, they sewed it in place so you can adjust the length of it on the fly. So that's as short as it can go. That's not as long as it can go, but that's close. You get the idea. You can adjust the length really quickly, which I wasn't expecting at this price point, that kind of attention to detail. So good job on that one, one Tigris. So what are my overall thoughts on this chest rig? Um, I like it. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, generally speaking, I'm not a fan of, you know, let's say entry level gear, um, but this one, I, I'm really pleased with it. I like the design. It's, a, it's very comfortable. And uh, I would be hard-pressed to tell a new Airsoft player not to buy one. 
especially if you're kind of on a budget, as a lot of new players are, if you're a parent trying to get your kid into the sport. Um, a chest rig like this will, will keep them occupied for a very long time, and it's going to fulfill all their needs, all their Airsoft or Milsim needs for quite a while. Now, would I use it for a real steel operation? Uh, no. Nope, not quite there. I wouldn't try to carry it over a mountain or anything, not even close. But um, I'm sure for airsoft play for, you know, a couple times a month, it'll hold up just fine. I don't see any issues with that whatsoever. And actually a member of our airsoft team, uh, Brent, he actually uses this chest rig. He used it all day on an op we had two weeks ago. And uh, he has nothing but good things to say about it. Uh, says it. Says it's a great rig and he really liked it. So there you have it. Uh, for the price, really great chest rig. Um, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know how YouTube works. If you really like my content and you want to support my channel, buy some merchandise from me. You can find my merch at uh, unsavorytees.com. Look under Unsavory Army and then over at Gunfather Milsim. Hit the little merchandise icon. It'll go over to my store. I sell t-shirts. I sell patches. I sell Gunfather bungee slings. Um, all sorts of stuff. So please give that a look. It really does help me put out more content for you guys. Thanks for watching.